So I tried really to squeeze all of these elements into one short preview. This is really cool. It's a really cool song. Um, so of course, it was written originally by Soundgarden, but um, as usual, Johnny Cash took this song and in turn the song into something um, unusual, something really sounding in a different way. Okay, so I really like his um, his takes on the covers because um, he had this ability to to make this cover sounds in a very unique way, in a very interesting. I don't want to say in a better way because some people may, may say that you know original is always the best, but um, definitely he had this ability to turn these songs into something. Um, very unique okay so let's break it down the song look really what you have here is kind of one idea that is kind of going all the time in the song so we've got something like this this is our core of the song look so as i have here all the time i'm playing my power chord which is a5 power chord so look it's open, it's the open fifth string, yeah? And then my first finger is going to be flat on the strings four and three on the second fret. So this is what you have, look. And this is A5 power chord. If you lay this finger flat a little bit further and you add the second string, you're going to have the sound of the A major chord. So you could hold like kind of, uh, you could play this across strings five, four, three, and two, and you have more major sounding um, tone, or if you play this across strings five, four, and three, you'll get more kind of, um, I would say, blues, rocky sound, okay? So look, this is A5 power chord, and what is important here is to understand that um, you have to be very kind of precise with the way how you pick. So I target this, um, this, 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 this concept from the fifth string, yeah? <laughs> And my picking kind of uh, motion is narrowed down to the strings five, four, and three only, yeah? So you have to kind of um, <laughs> fit your pick within this range, yeah? So you can just take the chord, a five, five, five chord, and just try to play something like this, yeah? Five, four, three, yeah? So when I go down, I play five, four, three, and when I go up, I play three, four, five. <laughs> like this, okay? Make sure that you don't play too wide. Because you may add the notes that does, does not belong to this chord progression, okay? And it may still sound great, but you may kind of unnecessarily soften the sound um, of the song. And you're kind of looking for this more, more raw, um, you know, blues rocky sound, okay? So look, this is what you have. The way I'm playing this, I play down, down, up. Down, down, up, okay? So the first three strums is down, down, up. Down, down, up, down, down, up. Down, down, up, okay? And then I'm going to add the open six string. So I go down, down, up, open six, down. Down, down, up, six, down. And then there'll be one more note which I'm going to target with my second finger, and it's going to be the third fret on the sixth string, look. Can you hear? So this is the second finger, the last note is the second finger on the third fret sixth string, look. And I slightly bend this note, look. Can you hear this micro bend? It gives you kind of more, more bluesy tone because you are getting, um, you are getting away slightly from this G note and you are slightly getting closer to G sharp. This kind of um, phrasing um, sounds very bluesy, okay? So this is what you can do here. So look. And the way again I pick this, down, down, up, open sixth string, down, the third fret on the sixth string, down. So look, down, down, up, down, down, and then I'm looping this concept. So but it might be a good idea to play this very slowly like this. Okay, and then once you feel confident and comfortable with this chord progression, you may just try to speed this up. And you can actually make it sound a little bit different by placing your palm on the bridge. To achieve more palm you think um, sound, yeah? Mm -hmm. 
So open. And then we did it. You could mix both in the song, right? To create more interesting um, chord progression. It's always good to to um, to mix things and, and add something and, you know, take away something. <laughs> Don't feel like you have to always play precisely 100% the same way across the song because, um, you know, this is music, so you can always make little changes and make it a little bit uh, kind of your interpretation, right? Don't forget this song is um, John Cash's interpretation of of, of somebody else's song, and it's great, yeah? So this is what you have. And I think you're going to play this eight times before the vocal comes in. Two. Three. So on five, six, and eight, kind of, I, I struggle to count and play this at the same time for some reason, yeah? So you play this eight times, and then the vocal comes in, and you're going to play this again eight times, okay? So. Oops, sorry, my hair is today a bit crazy. <laughs> And then at some point, we're going to play something like this. Okay, so first part is identical to what you've learned, but second part is something new. So let me show you one more time. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to play at the end the G chord. My way of playing the G chord is to place my first finger on the second fret fifth string my second finger on the third fret sixth string, my third finger on the third fret second string, and my little finger, fourth finger, on the third fret first string. So I play using four fingers, but you can play using three fingers, using fingers one, two, three only, or some of you may play like this, using fingers two, three, and four. This is all the same chord, okay? Just different voicings and different kind of fingerings, but I'm, I, I like not to play the G chord here, okay? <laughs> like G, G major chord. What I like to do, I like to lift up my first finger, so first finger is off, and lay my second finger in the way that it's touching the fifth string. And this is my G5 power chord, kind of built version of G5 power chord. This is what I play here, actually. So it's like a G chord, just without the first finger, and you basically mute the fifth string. So look, this is how it sounds. When I... It kind of gives me time, what it does actually, when I switch from this major riff to this G chord, it separates these fingers. The action at first was with the first finger, and of course occasionally the second finger doing bends on the third fret sixth string, but look. Can you see? And now my first finger is free, but I am gauging my fingers two, three, and four. So what I'm doing here, I play down, down, and this is very important. The third up are open strings, so look. Down, down, open, down, down, up. So this is a five, five power chord, right? Like it was before, just to clarify. So down, down, up stroke, open strings, and then I land with my G at the end, so look. But you can also play normal G, remember? Or if you play like this, it's up to you which version of the G you choose. Yes, yeah, so look. So one more time. Down, down, open, strings, and then G. I play this G5 pi chord, as I said, yeah? So the reason again why I'm placing these open strings to give me is to give me some time to switch between the chords, yeah? So you can, you can just take this chord and just play this. You could write a new song with this, right? <laughs> There's always a way to, to create new music from the old music. This is how it works, yeah? So look. This is what you have at the end. What you may try to do, you may try to play the first part you've learned. And second in separation, yes, yeah? so look like this. Just to get used to this, okay? So the first way of practicing this will be to go only this. Second way will be to mix both. So one more time when I play this, the picking down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. And this is what I found to be the most efficient way of playing this song for me, okay? Again, you have to experiment this, uh, you have to experiment with this and see what is working the best for you, okay? Because um, 
doesn't mean that my way of playing is the best. Maybe you prefer something else, and this is absolutely fine. Okay, so don't feel like you have to copy exactly um, the way you know you, have, you copy my way of playing. Okay, so look, and we play this twice, I think. And then we're going to play again the main riff. I think four times. And then again, look. And then we got this kind of the ending riff when we play exactly the same thing like we did before. You could actually not lift up the fingers here. You can do something like this. On the A5 pack, we just play down, down, up, lay your se second finger on the third, fifth, fifth string. So look. You've got already your first finger on the second fret, fourth string. Look. So what you have here is A5 pi chord, third fret on the fifth string, second fret on the um, fourth string, and then I go back to G. And this is kind of uh, the riff that is closing down all the sections. And you start again. So look. If I play this together with the previous sections, and then look. And again four times. And then look. G. G, and then end up. Oh, sorry. Like this, okay? And we are done with the main part of the song. Sounds cool, right? There's also one more riff, um, kind of very um, heavy sounding, especially if it plays electric guitar. Interesting concept, kind of unusual for um, Johnny Cash. Was kind of surprised when I heard this, but I was like, wow, that actually sounds great. <laughs> this is really E5 power chord. So what I have here is my first finger is now on the strings five and four on the second fret, and you play open six strings. So this is my E5 pi chord. Okay, and then look, we're getting to the same like this. So it's down, uh, let's see. It's down, up on this E5 pi chord. And then I'm going to place my second finger on the third fret six string. So again, this G note that you played before, and I'm going to bend this again slightly, look. And I go back to E5 power chord, listen. Like this. You hear? And I repeat this twice, look. G, G, E5, and then open strings. Look. And this is really all song, okay? I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It was kind of rushed, but um, yeah, this is how the song works. Um, consider becoming a member of my website, guitarcouch.com, because I've got the same tutorials that you see right now here in a much more expanded version. Um, and there is also plenty of lessons for my members. And um, it's fun, you can study with me the guitar. It's not very expensive um, to be a member. Um, it's really cool stuff. I add all the time new content. So visit my website, guitarcouch.com, and um, there's also tons of free lessons, okay? So have fun with this song, and I see you next time. <laughs>